All right, welcome back. This is part five of my Adrissian Kingdom. Excuse me, I think it's part six. It should be part six of my Adrissian Kingdom campaign. Been a hot minute since I played this, so give me a minute to get my bearings here. Okay, we're low on food, so we need to worry about food, but it looks like we were headed after Sparta next. And if I remember right, yeah, they had just gotten in a big old fight with Knossos. So I think we were hoping to just steamroll them. Alright, so we're getting a couple of Corinthian light hoplites to flesh out this army. We're going to have to manually fight whatever we do just to keep our king alive. You know what, I wonder if I could just replace him. And then next turn... Next turn, put him back in. Rise to us. You know what, Cotus the third. We're going to go ahead and replace our king here, just to keep our king alive. I really don't want to lose him just yet. And I think I'm going to give him, put him on some noble cav, because we still can't really hire good cavalry, if I remember right. Okay, so we've got a fresh health general, so we can auto-resolve if it's well in our favor. Athens still has a full stack. And they can go this way. I think I'm still at war with Rome. Yep, Rome and Athens. We will gladly listen to your offers. I, I doubt these guys want lies. anything to do with Their me, but you never know. Is. I would just like to get some sort of security on my north. <clears throat> Our spy is the only reason we have positive food right now. He's doing public order things. Okay. What are we doing for food? Losing two here next turn. So we can handle losing two. No change there in the next couple of turns. And here, six turns until we gain any more. Hmm. Well, that province is good on food. You know what, what's happening up here? Nothing. Okay. So this province, Thrake, is fine. These guys are down 20 on food. So I wonder if instead we import food. Lose a little bit of income, but gain food. <clears throat> Let's try that for now. And you know what? I could get even more food here. Yeah, I'll go ahead and go for it. So again, that's going to hurt our income pretty bad. But I think it's necessary to get the food started back up right now. We've got plenty of money in the bank anyway. Politically, things look just fine, so I think we can end the turn there. Oh, I want to check down here real quick what's going on. I wonder if I could just confederate Blessing these guys the right Olympians now. No, I don't think so. They're not at war with anyone, and they have a military ally, so they're not scared of anything right now. Alright, we'll end the turn there.
Well, I was hoping this wouldn't happen, but also kind of expecting it to. I don't think there's any way I can win that. So we'll just go ahead and go aggressive to try and hurt them as bad as possible. That kind of sucks, because that's going to hurt our income, and I think we had a fishing port here, so that could really hurt us with food. I don't know if this army by itself will be strong enough to take Apollonia back, but we'll find out soon enough. Experience have no... Get away from my army. You know, if they are at war with Rome, which I highly doubt, but if they are, they could help me take this. If they're friends with Rome, I might be kind of screwed. But that's alright. We've been in worse situations before. I'm just gonna decline everything for now. As spirits have noticed that our treasure stores are wanting. Can you help with this more? Yeah, we'll just go ahead and decline everything for now. So we're well in the positive on food now. How does RDA feel towards Rome? I mean, they don't hate each other. I mean, that was a proper Roman legion. I don't think we're going to have much of a chance here, but let's give it a shot. Without any cavalry, I think this would be really, really annoying to fight, so let's just go ahead and auto-resolve it. Again, this is a spam army, so I'm none too concerned about them. Yeah, take some pretty heavy losses, but that's okay. We want to just occupy, take our city back. And since we won't be getting any replenishment... I'm going to merge up some of these guys. Thirsty for battle. I think we will call Thirsty that good for now. Okay, let's get the import food going again. Wait, did they raise it? Or did it just stop me from building? Yeah, see, we're at negative one food. Not ideal. I think we were going for the wine trader here, just for the huge amount of money. Okay, this is going to be a hotly contested city, so I might need to just keep an army here at all times. So, I mean, Rome already has a whole extra legion ready to go. Ready for orders. Let's go ahead and move these guys a little closer to Apollonia. Because this was supposed to be an actual proper army, I believe. I don't really want to get stuck into pikemen yet. But I would like to use my foreigner population as much as I can. We need good fighters. All right, well that answers that question. Looks like that's all we're getting here. They should start taking enough attrition that we don't really have to worry about them a ton. Alright, well, 
Sparta, your time has come. Oh, I might actually have to wait because my spy is bringing in, th excuse me, three and a half food. So if I take this province, excuse me, this settlement, I will be down to negative four and a half food because it'll undeploy him. It'll take him two turns to get up here. Well, let's start sending him that way. And since we're doing that anyway, we may as well take the city. Pretty sure this is going to make us less than steadfast because we're attacking immediately after, de or we're declaring war and attacking the same turn. a lot of archers to my two units of cav. Oh, okay, so I do have some mercenary cav. You know what, I think I'd probably just send these guys in first and let them soak up the damage, let these guys do the work of killing. Let's go ahead and fight it. Sometimes I fight battles just because I feel like it. So I'd like to start back just to keep myself kind of unified here. Definitely don't want these guys using ammo without my permission. Probably going to want these guys just on melee mode. Let's go ahead and just keep the general back. The rest of you whatever together because we really don't want them getting too messed up now mercenaries and these foreigners I want them as my front line we'll go ahead and just wait until everyone shows up to start reorganizing this it's good enough for me Thought we had two dart slingers. There was the second one. I like to keep the cavalry on the end. All right. Now you guys have the phalanx. It's these guys that just act as spears, right? Yeah. Okay, so you guys. Actually, who else has the phalanx option? Okay, so you guys can use the phalanx. You guys are just spears. So let's put the spears together. <clears throat> I mean, it says the, these guys are phalanx infantry, but they don't have the phalanx formation. So for my purposes, they're just spear infantry. Sparta is actually coming out to meet me. So let's go ahead and pull the formation back a little. Ah, oh, do you know what? These guys ought to be with the Phalanx Infantry as well. Stick you guys on the front. Let's bring the skirmishers back behind the lines for now. Generals, let's put you back in reserve, because I really don't want you to die. And then you lot, just go half and half, I guess. Blow 
playing very defensive because they outnumber me. They, the garrison and the army, I think they outnumber my first army, but once I get my second army here, it'll be obviously in my favor, so I want to make sure they don't attack me until my second army's here. <clears throat> Looks like they're just going to take a minute to set up, so I will too. Now this is going to be a pretty standard battle formation for me almost every time I fight a battle. <clears throat> and that's in part because I'm setting my armies up for this kind of battle. I'm setting up so I have some troops that can hold them in place while my Thracian warriors get around the flanks. At least that's my goal. Are these? These almost look like peltists. Huh. Cretan infantry. Whatever. We all in place? Basically. Now it's just nice and slow and easy. Start marching. Nope, not slow and easy. They're not. Well, they're basically going to be in position by the time we get there, so yeah, go ahead and take it slow. I don't want their formation to be much wider than mine. So I'm actually going to move some of these spears out to the flanks. Ready. Spears. Spears ready. So that my front line can more evenly match ready. theirs. And then I still have a couple of units in reserve. I'm pretty sure just about their entire front line will form a phalanx. Let's hurry up and get in formation before things get too busy. Okay, my range isn't that great. They've got mercenary Rhodian slingers. I think that's just helot archers, right? Skirmishers. That's the archers. Okay, so I don't think they outmissile me terribly heavily. Yeah, and their phalanxes will obviously we have the annihilate mine. So I'm counting on winning the flanks, which right now I'm actually feeling a little outnumbered on. Is that just because their whole army is shifting? Yep, see, there's their phalanx beginning to form. We have discovered the enemy's hidden units. Alright, gentlemen, let's go ahead and form up. And we'll move the front line in. Nope, oh, too much. Okay, I'm definitely going to need these reserve guys.
stop, get some kind of bracing, and then attack. You guys come around, you guys start to move forward. Interestingly, they're not engaging me just yet. I still want to play it a little slow. I want their line to meet my line, just one to one. I actually need my skirmishers to be on guard mode. Start hitting the mercenaries. Okay. Let's go ahead and get in it now. So I'm pretty sure I gave the attack order right. Ah, oh, shit, this is bad. Send a unit of spears up there to help. Keep you guys at the ready. You guys need to turn. Okay, here's where things start to get a little ugly for me. We have discovered the enemy's hidden units. Okay, you guys get on the move, you guys close this flank, you guys don't know where the heck you're going, let's stop it. Okay, we've gotten rid of one of them. Uh, you guys have fallen back a little, go ahead and get after them. Let's hit some of their light troops, we're not getting a charge bonus on a lot of this, which is bad. Actually, you guys throw your jabbies this way. You guys get straight in on the flank, you guys get ready to help out because we're already going to be having problems here. No, nope, don't move, attack. Nope, stop that. Okay, you guys get up here, you guys just bounce out. I'm going to move another one over here because I'm getting kind of worried about that center bit. Our lines got pretty messed up. Okay, you guys start shooting into that. Okay, we're around them a little bit here. You guys push the center. These guys should be losing really bad, really soon. See, our front line just realistically doesn't stand a chance. These guys have bad range. I'm kind of expecting them to have decent range. Yeah, see, that's just like miserably bad positioning by me. So instead of pushing in to reinforce that, we'll just hold back. Get the infantry around behind. Let's see if we can just get one general through here. Now we should have these guys surrounded. We'll have those guys not surrounded, but kind of. You guys need to get in. My front line is going to be riding the struggle bus here in a second. So it's going to be pretty important to get the missiles around the flanks. Guys, go ahead and break phalanx and hit them. You know what? I just don't even want to engage that. Yeah, I don't even want to engage that. One of our units has used all its ammunition. Okay, let's do this. 
Let's go ahead and let him run around. Actually, we'll do this. See what happens. Okay, we're starting to lose this pretty bad. So let's just move some spears over there to hold the line for a minute. One of these days I'll figure out how to play the game, right? Just want him to come over here to keep him busy. just want to give their general something to think about. Don't necessarily want to actually engage him. You guys are out of ammo. Shoot into that blob. We are starting to get the surround on them. there pretty confidently now. I mean, these guys aren't going to last long, I wouldn't think. We're not using the cav effectively at all. Worst things have happened. Get you guys the hell out of there. Get you guys back. You guys are in a flank, so you should be okay for a minute. Let them break. You guys turn and face them. You guys go over here. Keep shooting them in the flank. Get the cavalry out of there. Don't want to engage the gen. Get you guys in on the flank. Keep you guys... I mean, you're beat to hell. We'll keep you in position to help out. Hold the general at bay if we need to. Gonna be a costly one, but I'm okay with that. It was a little bit fun. Anyone with missile ammo hit the general. Okay. Well, now we deal with the Athenian army and then turn our eyes towards. I've got 50 grand. Is it worth looting? Because we're probably going to have a rebellion here anyway. If I do this, there's guaranteed to be a rebellion. Let's see how this other army did. So the spears, obviously not doing great, but... Uh, doing well enough. The hoplites got completely thrashed by my poor micromanagement. Skirmishers did okay, but not great. Um, whatever, we'll just occupy it. Now, if I bring these guys out here... That's not 
excuse me, that's not quite close enough to reinforce against them. And I don't really want to go up against them with this army. I could hire in a couple of mercenaries to do it. I'm now at minus 16 food. Pretty sure something's broken there. What kind of recruitment options does this building give me? Spartan hoplites, I'll definitely want to grab a bunch of them. Because it's good units for the price of foreigner population. Thracian bows, no Cretan archers. Aww. I was all excited to get Cretan archers down here. Whatever. Okay, there will be a rebellion next turn. Because I can't go into patrol stance. There's no way I'll survive doing that. Let's go ahead and merge up a couple of these. Let's see. Yeah, we'll only lose a couple of guys by doing this. I'm okay with that. Now, will that have an immediate effect? It will. So that actually saves us from a rebellion this turn. <clears throat> now, I could go after these guys next, but I really don't think that's a good idea. Because it's going to be time-consuming to get a navy and get all the way over there and capture it and then colonize it and actually and like help the public order. So we've got that help in public order. Do we, we already have recruitment set up here, so I don't really need it down here. But I want the Spartan Hoplites. So you know what? Why don't I just recruit them this turn? Got the money for it. Let's put a couple in this army as well. You know what, the spearmen, let's just take some of these troops. Now, I doubt I can actually recruit six units here right now. Yeah, I'm going to go with three. So that leaves the Fury a little bit weak, but obviously within reinforcement range. The garrison here actually, nah, they're they're pretty beat up. I was gonna say they're not too bad, but they're pretty thrashed. Now we're not gonna have a rebellion up here, just barely. This army needs to retreat if they decide to send the legion after me, and I think technically they could, because they could move the legion to here, attack with the fleet, and get reinforced which is a little annoying, but hopefully they won't do that. You know what, maybe I'll hire some mercenaries here just to help me out a bit. Again, hurting our income pretty significantly, but I can accept that for now once we get these provinces unified and these mercenaries out of our army. I think we'll be just fine. I feel like I had another army to move, but I obviously don't. You know what? Let's send him across, since we're going into Italy next. Now, another thing I can do... Well, I don't know if it's worth helping out the food situation here. Because we're at negative 16, so I'm pretty sure I can't actually fix it. By using diplomats, I mean. So I think it boosts it by like 10 food. So 
Like if we send them to Macedonia, Macedonia was at negative 21. What are they at now? Negative 17. So that really didn't do much of anything. You know what? I think taking this and then immediately getting raided by Athens is part of what's hurting me. God, that's a lot of calf. Alright, well... Nasus is happy enough with us. Let's go ahead and just trade with them. I don't want to so deal with anything down wish, there. Will, give you an will they pay me for it? There is good in trade. To walk through a market is to understand a people and learn to respect them. Nah. You have spoken much, but little of it has been rational or clear-headed. I cannot agree. Well, we got a little bit of gold. Realistic folk and will accept this accord. Even as now these guys, I think they're going to start hating me because of expansionism. Yep, minus 10 for expansionism. So I need to get some kind of security up here. None of these tribes really care about what's going on here. RDA doesn't care either. So I think I'll try and side with these two. Can we get non-aggression here? Can we get trade? Welcome. Speak. Come on. Do not waste time. Guess not. I don't want to get involved with the Seleucids just yet. Alright, well, whatever. Good enough for this turn. I'm going to take a pretty bad from the lack of food. Hopefully we'll start sorting that out here in a minute. Acceptable. Let's just go protective, try and minimize our own casualties here. I think we'll just go ahead and release them. Even better. Take out the raiding forces. Ah, he didn't die though. Oh, because his general just barely survived. That sucks. Okay, a bunch of units I'm not too concerned about. Got pretty beat up. Ah, oh, but we lost these guys. That sucks. And our generals are hurting. Dang, I'm really kind of sad that we lost that one. We'll go and release them. Token, perhaps a modest gift of coin. The spirits have noticed that our treasure stores are wanting. Can you help with this small matter? going to decline that. I don't like that they're at war with Bowie. Ha! Take that. Food shortage, of course. We know about that. Our spy will be able to deploy. Oh, not quite this turn. That sucks. I was going to say that would have gotten us the three food we needed, but... Ooh, look at how close we were to getting a rebellion here. Didn't 
call in any mercenaries or anything, so let's just go wipe them out. Athens has been destroyed. Now I might disband like this entire army. Definitely getting rid of the mercenaries. Ready for battle. Yeah, let's get rid of all of our mercenaries. And just get to replenishing. So we can only have six Spartan Hoplites, that's fine. Not sure what I would do with more than that anyway. Let's just try and boost our strength up as high as we can with these crummy units. And I'm not a huge fan of any of these. But I guess we'll take that. Now, eight public order sounds lovely right now. Let's start leaning him into a little bit more military-minded stuff, too. And I think we can go ahead and patrol as well. Again, we shouldn't get any attrition because we have no food. But you know what? That food difference I could probably make up with... Excuse me, I could probably make that up with politicians. So that's not a bad army, but it's not particularly good. Especially because these are early units, so they're all spears. Alright, how are we looking? Ton of foreigners here, not much of anything else. Apollonia has less, so I don't want to move out of Pella. I want to recruit from here still. Now, I don't need a ton of cavalry. Ooh. And I don't necessarily even need the best cavalry either. I just want to have a little bit to go up against the Romans to clear out some skirmishers. This army also needs some missile troops, actually, now that I think about it. Thracian Slingers, are they any good? Nah, they're not really anything special, it doesn't look like. These guys. I'm not in love with their range. Or their ammunition. Yeah, we'll just go with archers. So that's still kind of a crap stack, but at least it's got some killing units. Okay, let's double check public order. Beautiful. It's time to move this guy down here, I think. Or maybe it's time to move him here and bring this guy down, but we're going to keep him deployed for as long as we can. keep getting worried that this is going to take more food when it finishes but construction, but I don't think it's going to. So we are going to lose five food here, but then gain it back the turn after. Man, I'm not balancing this very well, am I? Alright, well, don't worry about that. Send you to maintain some loyalty for your party. We'll use you to boost our food in these provinces. And we'll do the same over here. Just kidding, he's a general. 
he's also a general. That's unfortunate. Now we're in the positive on food. The gods will have me listen to you, but do not pass the day in words without merit. This is fair All right. to my people. All that's left is to drink until we roll beneath the benches. I wonder if I can give these guys military access. I am to receive you. Or if I should not bother. Nah. Just they have an army here and I don't love having it there. I do need to start to be conscientious of these guys too, because they're all... I mean, every AI is aggressive, I think, on DEI, but these guys in particular from my experience, like to wander and take territory. How's Rome doing? Oh, Jesus. So they're actually slightly more powerful than Carthage right now. But they're in a ton of wars. People to their northwest... Africa, Africa, straight north, straight north. So they're at war with here, and then obviously Africa and me. Just out Come of curiosity, speak. would they even accept it? The Senate will consider what I hear, but you must speak without delay. Like if I paid them 40 grand, would they accept it? No. Nope, that's not speak. what I meant. All right, well, Rome. It's about to get ugly between us. See, I thought this would have happened last turn. With how beat up these units are, I just don't think I can hold it. Can I retreat these guys? keep putting money into here and then Rome keeps attacking us. Yeah, I need to get across and take some land over in Italy. These guys... The general survived, it looks like, so that's good. And it's... I mean, that's going to hurt our food again, but only by one. It's possible the RDA is going to swoop in and take that, which means a war with them. I really don't want to go to war right here. I wonder if that will have put us past the 45,000-ish that we would have ended up with at the beginning of this next turn, because that should have dropped our upkeep, but I don't know if that will affect our earnings. I, dare not ask much. I don't need defensive alliance with you, because I don't want to get drawn into your wars. Fifteen positive now, which is a bit shocking to me. Okay, none of that is shocking to me, though. But we can start moving these armies back into the north. Pick up whatever you can from this army. Whatever you can or whatever's worth picking up. You know what, we'll just get some foreigners here. Okay, there we go, there's the limit. You guys back into patrol, keep that public order as high as you can. 
You guys may as well patrol here out of curiosity, though. No, recruiting's still the exact same. I don't know why I need to keep checking that. Go ahead and merge them up. Now, I can reach, so let's go check out what their army looks like after the battle. So their horse looks a little beat up, but not too bad. Everything else is pretty much totally fine. None will escape. For the now let's go here, maybe hire some mercenaries, get some more balance of power. Nope, no more mercenaries. All right, well, we, we do have two mercenary horse here. Let's see what a battle against Rome looks like. See, their units are either just recruited or bad at getting kills. Collins are not this early. But if they don't have javelins, that's just another huge bonus for us. Go ahead and just bring the boys back a bit. And start things off. Enemy reinforcements approaching. That's just their boat, so I don't really care about it. Oh, this is the guy I inherited. So this wasn't even like a real general. One that I hired, I mean. This is one that I got from confederating what's this but up in the north. Okay, spears, just go ahead and form up with the spears. Let's actually go ahead and move you guys out to the left since that's where you're going to line up. You know what? I think horse is actually the formation I want. Well, we'll see how that looks. I'm kind of hoping they come out to meet me so I can use the flanks a bit more. Because Romans have really, really good morale and like defensive abilities. Because that one of their formations they can do is discipline formation. And it, like I think it decreases their attack, but it improves their defense and morale. So they're just going to be hard to break through if I have to grind through them. That's an actual phalanx. Oh, that's because it's the hoplite unit they could hire. Here's what I think I'm going to do. I think I'm just going to send the phalanx infantry up here. Support them with a bunch of spears. 
but then move all of the melee troops around the flank. I actually don't want my cav to get too far away because they do have some cavalry here. Now, if I keep them in place here and engage them here, I can shoot in their unshielded sides. So I think that's going to be the play. Oh man, look at all those banners though. All right, well, nothing for it. Let's get in there. One of the melee infantry over here, because this is where I want to actually attack them over here. I just want to hold them in place. These guys all have javies, so I might actually move them around the side as well. Alright, let's go throw your javelins in their faces and see what they do about it. We'll keep the spears over here just to hold our flank. at all. Okay, come on, get in place. You can form your phalanx. Okay, here we go. Come on. Throw. You're in range. Didn't realize I was in slow motion still. One of our units has used all its ammunition. Okay, so they do have javies. That kind of sucks. All right, let's get in on them. Now, I don't know that I'll be able to throw that far, but it's worth a shot at least. I don't want to just get shot, so I am going to try and get them engaged. It's like zero kills on the charge. Can you even shoot that far? Yeah, I was going to say, you better be able to. It's at the levees, because they could do a lot of damage to us. And we might start going in here as well, just to spread them out. I actually don't want these guys forward yet. Nah, so we can't throw that far, so come back around. You guys get in amongst it. Go ahead and move this up just to have someone close. Okay, now let's start giving them some pressure over here as well. Because they're going to have to break somewhere. At least that's the thought. Decisively. It's not encouraging. Uh, I might have called off the attack a little bit too soon with the missiles there. Man, losing decisively. I was not expecting that. Okay, let's actually get a third unit up here. See if we can snake around them. Orders. 
One of our units has used all its ammunition. Guys, no, don't do this, please. Just form back up. You guys can go in once you're formed up. No, don't catch me. Shit, they caught me. Okay, let's see if we can maybe break their cavalry and hopefully break this unit as well. Okay. Your turn. Get in there, do some damage. Our men flee the field of battle. This is a shameful display. Finish up! Our spears are yours. Hop it is ready! I mean, I was expecting these guys to be bad, but that's, like, pathetically bad. These guys aren't going to fight well because I've got them so bunched up. I mean, I don't even know if my mercenaries can take them on. We'd outnumber them slightly, but I don't know if we can take them. Okay, it's time to get ready for the Thracians to go in. Hit those levees. I want them out of here. Jesus. Romans are just so tough. I'm losing th three spear units here because they're just getting destroyed by these Hastati. Let's go for the head. Let's see if we can get the general out of here. Yep. yep, that's gonna hurt. These guys are doing well. Okay, keep hitting the levees. I want them to die. Nah, hit the Principes. I'm like, sure, these are just spear units I'm using, so... I think I just ruined their charge right there. Whoops. Let's see if we can pull out of there and draw them out into a position where we can flank them. Oh, come on. Okay, so I think we might actually need to send you guys over here to help out plugging that gap. Can't afford to keep taking fire for long with these guys, so let's go ahead and just send all of the Thracians in on the flanks and see what happens. Not expecting these guys to win. Maybe we can help it though. These guys are winded, so let's send them some help. Take these guys off the field, please. That's a general unit. Kill him, please. That is a distressingly small amount of damage for three volleys. Okay, you guys are down to active. You guys go help out over here. Trying to think which side is going to crack first so I can send my cavalry that direction. See, this is why Rome is so tough to fight. Is they're just... They have such high morale, they do so much damage. I mean, kill a general, that'll help. 
I'm okay with these guys getting shot. That's, I mean, it's less than ideal, but could be worse. Got some good numbers over here. Let's go ahead and accept the losses and the morale penalty and just pull you guys out. You're not doing well. Let's actually see if we can just move you over. I want to keep him out of range. It's fine if you keep getting shot. I mean, look at how slow any of these units are dying. It's just tough to beat Rome. Let's see if we can get these guys to bust through. So far, this is looking like our most promising angle. I know they've got some heavy infantry over here, that'll definitely help. See if we can squeeze a unit through. Where did this guy go? So I couldn't even see him. Now let's get him back out of range of the missiles. You guys keep pushing in. I hate to send bows in, but I've got to get their flanks. Got to get around them. Let's go for the general. Guys are actually winning slightly. That's good. We hunger for blood and battle. Spearmen. Spear! Okay, let's maybe rotate out some of these guys. I mean, the cav is going to die, but it's mercenary cavalry, so I'm not concerned about it. Can we snake through there? If we can, we might be able to break this. The enemy general the morale is, is starting to drop in the middle. The general kill will help. Get you guys back in on it. This is a shameful yeah, the missiles are going to be annoying. Who was it over here that was losing decisively two units? I mean, these guys are basically dead, but it's fine. Try and bring the general in around behind over here. Spears. You have our spears. What I'm trying to do right now is keep all of their units busy. If we can start to exhaust them, that'll help us win the morale battle. a lot of resources just to break one unit, but I think it's worth it. This is not going to go well for my hoplites. Okay, we've got our gap now. Come on, break, break. There we go. You guys immediately turn around and hit them. I mean, we still have 70 guys in this unit. That's still a pretty good chunk of men. Cav, I really need you here fast. Okay, 
pull back first, get out of there is what I mean. Come on, come on. So I want to actually get a charge here. You're better when you charge. Got the cavalry in behind them. I think things will start to go pretty quick. Let's pull. No, let's keep them in for a minute just to hold back these couple of units. Okay, get some kills here, please. Rally the troops. Fresh, winded, active, very tired. Let's pull these guys out. Maybe get another charge. I mean, it's not going to be a great charge, but we can kind of get a charge here, I think. general back that direction. So I haven't been playing much Total War lately. And I can feel it. I'm not good at micro, but I feel sluggish. I'm starting to get some wavering over here, but yeah, that should just about do it. Let the boys get some kills. Took some pretty... I mean, this is freaking a stop hour and a quarter right now. Loads up, I think I'll go ahead and finish that one off. They're not as good on the front line. They do better when you can get them around. When they're not being attacked and they can just do the attacking, they do a lot better. Now, again, we're going to occupy this place. We're probably going to have a rebellion. Or not. But we will worry about that. I will get that right now. But we'll worry about that another time. See, I get distracted. This is the problem I have with Total War games. It's like I never want to end a turn. Alright. This, all together, should be able to hold just fine against any Roman invasion, and they already are recruiting for another one. Interesting. Alright, well... Until the next one. I've had some fun playing it. I hope whoever watches it's been having fun. And we'll call that good for now.